It is going to get awfully chilly again tonight. And remember, it was cold all day, so your house is getting colder and colder. Maybe you can hold off and you're one of those lucky ones. But right now, the story is rain. It's a steady rain that's moving its way on through. It's a little bit lighter towards Fond du Lac and Sheboygan, but still more working your way. This isn't a heavy rainmaker, but still it's out there. At least it's not snow. Now this once again, northern part of the state frost advisory is going on late tonight. I almost wonder what's going on with the Duluth office if they just said, OK, we've been frosty enough. We're done with the winter. I should say uh, frost headlines. Either way you cut it, it's going to be another chilly night. It should be really interesting to see if you can hold off on the furnace. I see a lot of people hearing a lot of people flipping the switch. 73 degrees, 73 degrees should be the average high. 57 should be the average low. How nice would 57 have been today? Didn't make it there. Barely made it to 50 degrees. Now the thing is for tomorrow, you got like St. Louis at 58 where there was a little bit more sunshine. You got middle 50s, Sioux Falls. It looks like that's on the way for tomorrow. So we're going to rebound things, but we got to get through tonight and this afternoon where it is chilly. 45, Waukesha, West Bend, 48 in Racine. So if you haven't turned on your furnace yet, this is going to be interesting to see if you can make it through the weekend. But if you can make it through these next like five days, <laughs> that's it. You can make it. Now, the thing is, for your Saturday, I know it's kind of crummy out as far as late this afternoon, but things will get better as we go into the weekend. Now, I do want to show you our Doppler HD radar because it's a pretty steady rain going on for the, pretty much the whole area. I know you're seeing a couple of yellow patches out there, but still, that rain is not that heavy. But still, it's some light to moderate showers. This won't add up to a lot as we go through the night. A future forecast. It's a weak area, low pressure working its way through. Did you notice what happened later on tonight? A lot of this is going to be done. What that means on the back side of it, high pressure moving in for the weekend. And as long as we have high pressure in charge, that means quiet weather. Uh, that little black dash line right there, that's a wind shift line. That won't get here. It's a very weak frontal boundary until Monday. So that's our next chance of rain after tonight. So as we go through the night, any rain going to be coming to an end from the west to the east. Not an all night rain. This is going to be heavy. Then if we clear out the skies, get cold. 38 inland, 43 by the lake. Tomorrow, 58 degrees, a few clouds, but you know, we're making a little bit of progress. Upper 50s tomorrow night, mostly clear. Temperatures in the 40s again and middle 60s for Sunday. By the way, that means nice weather for the Packer game. You start off in the low 60s and in pretty much the mid to upper 50s. We should keep it dry. Then there's just a chance of a shower on Monday, and after that, we'll warm it up. So, Steve, Courtney, Courtney, have you, have you held out with the furnace? I have not needed it yet. Yeah. This one, the woman who always runs warm, though.